If you were alive in July 1969, chances are you remember where you were when two American astronauts walked on the surface of the moon. Saturday marks the 50th anniversary of that landmark achievement, and it comes at a time of renewed enthusiasm for the space program. But long before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped onto the lunar surface, they trained for their mission in the most moonlike terrain NASA could find, the Nevada desert. George Knapp of the I-Team joining us now with that story. Well, NASA and Nevada go way back. The Nevada test site was home to the NERVA program, a nuclear engine that was proposed to take humans to Mars and beyond. Two Nevada companies are on the forefront of the impending private development of space in coordination with NASA. But the Nevada connection to space heroes like Armstrong, Aldrin, Collins, Glenn, and others is a source of pride for our state. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. An iconic, unforgettable moment that will be rebroadcast countless times in the build-up to the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. The intrepid astronauts of Apollo 11, as well as all other Apollo missions, trained for the challenges of the lunar landscape at multiple locations much closer to home, including the sprawling facility once known as the Nevada Test Site. I always call the test site the most moon-like place on Earth. Scientist Ben McGee has spent years documenting the connections between NASA milestones and the lunar like terrain of the Nevada desert. It started even before Apollo. This is a 1960 photo of the original Mercury 7 astronauts, including Alan Shepard and John Glenn, taken at the end of a survival training mission in northern Nevada. Four years before the Apollo 11 moon landing, 14 astronauts, including eight who would one day walk on the moon, spent days learning the geology of spitting image craters at the Nevada test site. Some of the craters out at the test site were practically identical to craters that were going to be found out on the moon. And so they helicoptered the astronauts out there, they brought uh, uh, mock-up rovers, and they actually did giant traverses, studying the science, getting used to moving around the big fractured blocks. Craters on the moon were created during ferocious impacts of meteors or asteroids smashing into the surface. The only force comparable to the heat of those collisions is a nuclear blast, the kind that left gigantic pockmarks all over the former test site. The similarities were so remarkable, McGee says, that on two occasions, Apollo 16 and 17, astronauts commented while walking on the surface of the moon. And he goes, oh, wow, look at that. That's just like Little Dan. Well, Little Dan is the name of a crater again on Buckboard Mesa at the Nevada test site. So these are two specific locations in Nevada on the test site mentioned from the surface of another world. <laughs> I don't know that there are many places on Earth where you could say that. NASA archives have dozens of photos of American astronauts training in Nevada, sometimes in colorful garb, often looking grizzled and beaten up after days in the desert heat. The Bedouin-looking man on the left here is Neil Armstrong. Here in the desert. The test site provided extra security for the training, but some locations that were used are on public land, including this spot near Tonopah, named appropriately enough Lunar Crater. It's where astronauts practiced driving rovers in volcanic terrain. In neighboring Arizona, NASA used explosives and a grid to recreate an exact replica of the terrain at one lunar landing spot. Once finished, it was used to teach astronauts like Edgar Mitchell how to spot and retrieve the best moon rocks to bring back to Earth. McGee says Nevadans should be proud of the role the state played in getting astronauts to the moon and back, but he hopes NASA will return to both places. I think mission planners uh, and NASA would be foolish if they did not take advantage of the very specific resources that we have in the state of Nevada for training astronauts to walk on the moon. It was really effective, and the proof is in the pudding. Of the 12 astronauts who walked on the moon, 11 trained here in Nevada. We have a lot of additional information on our website, including the story of a Boulder City company, how they may have saved the Apollo 11 mission from disaster. And of course, Nevada has been linked to another moon landing story in an infamous sort of a way, a persistent conspiracy theory that alleges Apollo 11 was faked and supposedly the whole thing was filmed out at, on a stage out at Area 51, directed by Stanley Kubrick. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll put that one right there with flat <laughs> earth, though. And you said Luna Lunar crater, we can actually go out and see Yeah, that. it's public land. You can drive up. It's about two and a half, three hours. It's up near Tonopah, and it's, uh, it's massive. It's awesome to see it. Oh, it's a awesome. day trip. Yeah. All right, interesting. Thanks, yeah. George.